morning all today we are going to discuss the previous year university questions based on module 1 uh, actually we have referred to the questions on 2015 scheme because uh, since 2019 scheme we don't have any question paper we have referred to 2015 uh, scheme questions so let us start the first question list any three categories of uh, database users highlighting any one important characteristics of each category Okay, this is a three mark question. So, they have uh, asked the three categories of database users. Okay, we have studied the topic database actors. In that, we have seen database administrator, uh, database designers, then end users. Okay, these end users are classified, subclassified into casual and end, casual end users, name or parametric end users, sophisticated users, and standalone users. Okay, so in this question, we have to explain this concept okay we explain this concept in detail casual users what what are casual users what are their uh, responsibilities name users their responsibilities okay such that okay, we have already uh, discussed <coughs> these things in detail please uh, refer to those answers second question give suitable examples for multi-valued composite and uh, multi-valued composite attribute okay so uh, we have to give examples for multi-valued composite and composite multi-valued combination of composite and multi-valued that is called a composite multi-valued okay so multi-valued means an attribute is having multiple values for example email id it is having multiple a person will be having multiple email ids it is represented at double uh, uh, elliptical or double oval shape now composite means an attribute is divided subdivided into uh, many parts for example, name, an attribute name is the subdivided into first name, middle name, last name. Okay. Such attribute is called a composite. Now, composite multi-value is a combination of these two. Okay. The best example we have already seen, works on. Okay. Works on is having uh, many, uh, uh, many values for works on. And each works on is being subdivided into project and hours. Okay. So, they have asked to give uh, example for uh, these three categories. Okay, this is a three mark question. Now, third question distinguish between total participation uh, and partial participation with the example. Okay, so we have already learned that concept total participation. Total participation means every entity, every entity in the entity type participate in at least one relationship. Okay, that is called a total participation. Partial participation means some entities may not participate. Okay, for example, here uh, a department handles project, which means that the every project entity must be having a relationship with the department. Every project entity, for example, we are having projects P1, P2, P3. So, P1 must be having relationship with department, P2 must be having uh, relationship with department, P3 must also be having department uh, relation with the department. So, there is no entities uh, left over, it is not having any uh, relationship with the department. Okay. So, that is called a total participation. So, partial participation means some um, entities will not having any, uh, will not having any relationship with the next, this one. For example, uh, a department a department D1, D2, D3. D1 is handling project P1, D2 is handling project P2, D3 is not having any project. So, D3 is uh, not uh, participating in any relationship with the project. D D3 is not participating in any relationship with the project. So, D3 is uh, left over there. Okay, so, D3 is not participating. So, so such, uh, such uh, participation is called partial participation. Okay, so, some entity may not participate in any relationship in the relationship type. So, it is represented by single line, this is represented by double line. Okay, all these concepts we have uh, discussed in detail. Okay. Next question. Ah, this is a very important question. Describe the real world situation described by the following ER diagram. This is the question that is given. Okay. They have asked to redraw the ER diagram replacing the min max notation with the conventional notation showing cardinality and the participation. So, in ER diagram, uh, there is a special type of notation called min max notation. So, that uh, those min max notation is represented like this. Okay. So, minimum number of participations. So, uh, min max means this first value represent minimum value, the second value represent maximum value. So, this means that here the professor teaches courses. 
okay so the minimum number of uh, minimum participation a professor can have with the course okay, that is represent the first number that is zero which means that there may be some professors will not uh, who will not be have, who are not having any course to teach okay clear so that is uh, he, uh, that is represented here and n represents there may be many many professors okay so there can be no professor who will be teaching a course there can be n professors teaching a course clear in reverse way what will be the min max notation when mean reverse way it is represented like the 1 comma 3 which means that a course okay a course must be at least one course must be taught by a professor okay at least one course must be taught by a professor but a, a three courses can be taught by a particular professor okay so this uh, course cannot be left empty these courses must be handled by someone so a minimum one and maximum three okay so minimum one course uh, at least uh, uh, course one course must be uh, handled by someone maximum three courses can be handled by a professor okay so that is why one comma three so minimum is one maximum is three so here it is actually it is having uh, total participation Okay, instead of total participation, they have written like this. Okay, so such type of notation is called a min max notation. Okay, instead of this total participation and partial participation uh, method, they we can write like this. Okay, so this is called a min max notation. So they have asked to redraw this uh, ER diagram with the conventional notation. Our conventional notation is the notation we have actually taught which is uh, that is the total participation and cardinality ratio okay the er diagram having the cardinality ratio so that's the total participation is our conventional notation clear ah. so this is our this is the solution for this this is the solution for this question that is we have redrawn the er diagram like this okay so professor teaches course clear now the cardinality must be the how to fill the cardinality cardinality must be the second value max so here m okay n that means a professor can have can uh, a professor can teach many courses okay a course can be taught by many professors so both way it is correct okay both way it, it can correct so uh, so when 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 they are asked to convert this to this one you please note that the maximum value that min max min, min in min max here 0 is the min and n is the max so this maximum value will be the cardinality ratio so here n or m can be the cardinality ratio here 3 so instead of 3 we can write n that is no problem okay instead of 3 so here the maximum value is 3 instead of that I have written n that is also right okay so this is the uh, and the total participation is here see here it is having the course is having the total participation because there is no uh, there is uh, no uh, we have not left any course which has been taught by a professor okay every course is taught by someone clear so we have not left any course that is taught by anyone so that is the total participation so it is here it is total participation clear so this figure is being converted to this one the traditional conventional uh, method of notation okay so this is the new method of notation min max notation okay list out the three features of uh, database system the three mark question we have already studied we have already studied the topic characteristics of database okay so that uh, thing we have to write explain it here self describing nature insulation between programs and data and data abstraction support of multiple view and sharing of data and multi-user transaction processing okay you have to explain these uh, four points in detail okay how is dml differ from ddl we have already learned refer to the uh, database language topic D what is dml database mani manipulation language ddl is data definition language okay data data manipulation data definition clear so please uh, go through this topic this is a three mark question justify uh, weak entity set with the help of an example okay so refer to that topic we have already uh, explained about weak entity and the strong entity okay weak entity type or weak entity set is an entity it is having which is it does not have any key attribute okay such uh, entity 
is called weak NGT. Okay. So, give an example, I have uh, explained it with the uh, with an example. So, please go through that topic. Next one. So, this is a 5 mark question. Okay. Weak NGT set, this is a 5 mark question. Now, next question, what is the responsibility of database administrator? So, that also we have seen, it is a 4 mark question. So, what are the administrator, what are the role and responsibilities of DBA, DBA is a very important topic. Okay. We have already discussed. So, first one is schema definition the structure definition, creating the structure of the database. Next is storage structure and access method definition, okay, schema and physical organization, granting of authorization, maintenance, okay, all these topics we have discussed in detail. It is a 4 mark question, so we have to, disc, uh, we have to write a detailed explanation. With the help of a neat diagram, explain 3 schema architecture. Uh, in detail, okay. Uh, the three as three schema architecture. What is three schema architecture? We have already learned. What is that? Internal level, conceptual level, view level. Okay. So with the uh, with an with a figure with any diagram, we have to explain these concept. The, these three levels. Okay. It is a nine mark question. It is a nine mark question. So you have to write in detail. Explain the terms participation constraint in detail. So participation constraint. We have two participation constraint. What is what are they? Total participation and part partial participation. We have already explained. Okay, so uh, you write that answer. It is a three mark question. Next question: List out any three responsibilities of database administrator. Okay, we have already seen schema definition. It is a repeat repeating question. Schema definition, storage structure, access methods, schema physical organization, granting of authorization, authorization, then uh, routine maintenance. Okay, so uh, all are the responsibilities of responsibilities of DBA. Next question, 14th one. So, this is a 3 mark question. Okay. Give good example using ER notation for unary ternary relationship with a brief explanation. This is also a 3 mark question. So, we have already studied about unary relationship, binary relation, degree of the relationship we have already learned. Unary, binary and ternary. Okay. We have explained it using examples. So, please go through that topic which is the degree of the relationship. This is also a 3 mark question. Now, consider a scenario where artist act in uh, a movie, a, a artist act in a movie and artist can act in different movie. So, uh, they have asked to create a uh, ER diagram, okay, they have try create try asked to write an ER diagram. So, assuming the suitable attributes show how the situation can be represented using relations, we have to represent using relations with the foreign key, we have to identify a foreign key also, okay. not even not, all, uh, not only primary key, we have to also identify a foreign key, okay. that we will explain. Now, uh, they have asked, so here what are the, act, uh, what are the um, uh, entities here, entity types, so artist, artist is an entity type. Okay. Then movie, movie is another entity type. Okay, so what is the relationship? Artist can act in movie. Okay, so acting, act is the relationship between artist and the movie. Okay, ah, so we have to assume certain attributes. Attributes we have assumed. So here I have written artist ID to represent a particular artist. Uh, artist ID is written here. So this is supposed to be a primary key can be uniquely, uh, we can, you, you can be used to uniquely identify a particular artist. Uh, now, name of the artist and the movie ID, okay, which movie he is uh, acting, that is represented as the uh, movie ID. Uh, and here also movie, movie is the uh, another entity type, here the attributes are movie ID, movie, movie underscore ID, movie name, name of the movie and the movie type. Okay, so look at here. So this is a this is the primary key of this uh, entity type, and artist ID is the primary key of this uh, uh, this entity type artist. Okay, so look at here. Here movie ID and the movie ID. Here the primary key has become an attribute of uh, attribute for uh, the artist entity type. Okay, so this movie ID is actually the primary key of movie which has also, which is also the attribute of the artist entity type. Okay. So, that means that 
this movie artist and the movie is related or this being connected using a key called movie id okay so this move id movie id is supposed to be the foreign key okay so foreign key is a key that is actually the primary key of another entity type okay such a key is called foreign key so here movie underscore id is called the foreign key okay so in question they have asked to identify the foreign key also so here movie underscore id is the foreign key because though this is the key which is the primary key this is not the primary key of this one okay this movie id is the primary key of another relation or another entity type okay another table or another entity type okay here the movie id is the uh, key attribute here okay so this movie id here is the called the foreign key okay this is the foreign key so this is a five mark question we can e easily we can score five mark question without any issue now 16th question uh, briefly explain the concepts of physical data independence and logical data independence with the typical real world example we have already explained uh, those topic so refer to the data independence topic okay so data independence is actually classified into two physical data independence and logical data independence okay we have very well explained it with the, an example so please go through that topic okay so it is a five mark question so these topics are very very important these are repeatedly asked questions okay so please uh, don't skip these uh, concepts in the following era er diagram how can we replace the entity set scene with the attribute of the entity set movie draw a new er diagram so here uh, they have given this ER diagram. Okay, so they have asked how can we replace the entity set, the entity set scene. How can we replace this entity set scene with an attribute of the entity set movie? So how can we make the scene as an attribute of a of this entity entity type movie? Sorry, entity type movie. Okay. So how either the Namak E scene in the Barayana E or entity set in a entity type in a Namak in a movie attribute aka no la So how can we make this entity type scene to be an attribute of the entity type movie? Okay, only one thing we can do we can make it as a multi um, composite attribute. Okay, Nyanda in a way have replaced like this one. So movie already it is having three attribute okay I, I have mentioned that three attribute then i have made the scene as another attribute okay scenes as another attribute so since it is having three sub attributes i have made this as a composite attribute the so scene i have made it as a composite attribute the scene is divided into scene number scene description shots okay so by replacing this entity type by i have replaced this entity type as a composite attribute in this movie entity type okay ah, so this is uh, this is a five mark question okay it is a very important it is a very easy question you can easily score five marks okay so please uh, note 18th question write a suitable example define the integrity constraint okay we have already explained about the integrity constraint constraint first one is the referential integrity constraint and the second one is the key or uniqueness constraint okay we have already discussed about these concepts so please go through this topic so it is a three mark question so sorry it is a four mark question now uh, 19th question here they have asked to draw a er diagram so here let us see what is the question so design a er diagram for the given scenario suppose that you are designing a schema to record information about the reality show so reality show is a entity type on tv your database needs to record the following information okay for each reality show its name gender basic info and participation name so reality show is an entity type okay so reality show is an entity type uh, so they have asked to uh, ask to write the attributes for each reality show 
its name gender basic info and participation name so name gender gender means the type category okay the type of uh, reality shows then uh, info info basic info and participation name okay participation name clear so these are the attributes of the reality show so we have noted down so any reality show has at least two or more participants since the participation participant entity or participant attribute is actually multi value okay there may be many participants so this participant must be written as a multi valued one okay, that is why it is written like this a reality show has at least two or more participants so participant is the multi valued attribute okay so that is over the particip uh, reality show uh, entity type is over now we can go go to the next one um for each producer the company name company country for each producer the company name uh, company con com country is the attribute so so next entity type is producer okay so here it is a producer producer must have company name so company name then company country country so, so only two attributes are there okay only two attributes are there uh, for each producer now they are giving the relationship for each producer the company name uh, sorry uh, uh, a show is produced by a show is produced by exactly one producer okay so how can we uh, relate this reality show and the producer by using producers okay clear a show is produced by exactly one producer a reality show is produced by exactly one producer so here it is one okay the cardinality ratio is 1 now next is what for and one one producer produces exactly one show a single producer can produce only a single reality show okay so here the cardinality ratio is 1 1 to 1 clear okay the cardinality ratio it is actually <coughs> given perfectly it is given in the question for each producer uh, a show is produced by exactly one producer a show a reality show is produced by exactly one producer okay in the other way also it is given and one producer can produce exactly one show a single producer can produce only a single reality show so cardinality ratio is 1 to 1 okay so here this is over the producer reality show uh, relationship is over now next <coughs> The for each television so next entity type is television okay its name start here head office so each television its name start here head office these are the attributes of the television entity type so television so his attributes are name start here head office okay these are the attributes of the television entity type okay a television may broadcast multiple shows so here it is given the relationship between television and reality show okay a television can broadcast reality shows okay a television can broadcast multiple shows a television may broadcast multiple show a single television channel can broadcast multiple reality show okay now what is the relationship from the reverse way each show is broadcasted by exactly one television each show reality show is broadcasted only exactly by one television so here the cardinality ratio is many to one okay is specifically given in the question many to one clear ah. so this is also over so television reality show producer and then also their relationship is over okay next for each user so next entity type is user okay his or her username password and age okay for each user it, it, it contains the following attributes name password and age clear ah. a user may rate multiple shows okay so user and the reality show is related using the uh, relationship called rate a user may rate multiple show a single user can rate multiple reality shows okay so a single user can relate multiple so multiple reality show now in reverse way what is it <coughs> a 
a show may be rated by multiple user a reality show a single reality show may be rated by multiple user so here the cardinality ratio is many to many okay so here it is written n n to n either we can write n to n or m to n both are right okay so here the cardinality ratio is many to many clear so here on last statement is written each rating has a score of 0 to 10 so here we have we 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 have a separate attribute called rating so this rating cannot fit so this rating is actually depending upon the relationship rate so this rating cannot fit in the reality show as well as in the user okay so what we do is we will provide this rating attribute in the relationship itself okay this is uh, this is one method okay because why 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 we have placed this uh, rating here because this rating is not uh, applicable for reality show as well as user we cannot fit this rating here or here so what we do we will place this rating in the relationship itself okay clear <coughs> so this is the er diagram okay this is a university question so it is a nine mark question you can easily score nine marks okay so what you have to do is you have to carefully uh, read each and every statement okay and analyze it and after analyzing you draw the ER diagram okay in step by step okay next question a company has uh, many employees working on a project the employee can be a part of a normal project each employee works on a project for a certain amount of time assume suitable attributes and entity and relations relations mark primary key and cardinality ratio of the relationship relations okay so this is a uh, small year diagram so what they have asked is a company have employees okay so employees and entity okay working on a project so project is another entity type okay so they how they are related they are related using the relationship type works on okay working or works on an employee can be a part of one normal project a single employee can work on many projects okay that is why that is that is what is written here an employee a single employee can be a part of more project a single employee can be a part of more project okay each employee works on a project for a certain amount of time so in reverse way it is not written so in reverse way we can assume the relationship okay a cardinality we can assume a single project can be uh, a single project can be handled by multiple employees okay because in it companies and all a single com a single project or single assignment is given to many employees it is been divided to different employees and each employee do their part and uh, finally they will integrate it that is what it is doing in the it company so a single project can be assigned to multiple employees so here the cardinality ratio is many to many okay ah. then each employee works on a project for a certain amount of time okay each employee works on a project for a certain amount of time so uh, employee is also having a uh, entity uh, attribute called working time okay so this working time can either be we can fit here or we can fix here also okay works on in the works on also we can uh, given give the attribute working time no problem okay so because this working time is related with employee so that is why i have placed here okay we can also place it here working time clear ah. so they have asked the uh, suitable attribute they have asked to assume the suitable attribute so i have assumed the suitable attributes employee number employee name salary here for project the project name project number and project name and mark the primary key so here employee number is a primary key so that is why they ha i have underlined here the project number is the primary key i have underlined and also the cardinality ratio i have mentioned the cardinality ratio cardinality ratio here is many to many okay so this is a five mark question so these questions are uh, collected from uh, 506 uh, university questions of 2015 scheme so these are repeatedly asked on these question papers so i kindly request all of you to uh, go through these questions during the preparation of uh, module one okay thank you